Husband Michael and wife Allison are not happy. Their daughter Jody was killed in a car wreck, and that's horrible, so terrible in fact that Allison is traumatized into a state that appears to be naturally stoned at the best of times and childlike at the worst of times, and utterly unable to grasp that Jody is actually dead. This has not been easy on Michael's own emotional state. Swiss watches are less thoroughly wound than this guy. With Allison unable to function like she used to, the couple seeks relief in Dr. Turner, John Hurt, who suggests a live-in nurse to assist her and provide her with home care. He's quick to suggest his own student, psychiatric nurse Catherine. Catherine, who is queer and also thus evil, sees the image of her dead lover in Allison and plots behind the scenes to disrupt this house of cards. And then Michael and Catherine fuck, because it quickly becomes clear that Catherine is basically a form of mutant shark that needs to violate monogamous relationships in order to survive, and Michael's got less hypnotic resistance than a white investment banker that's been unwittingly dosed with scopolamine. And then everything is terrible. So, so terrible. The elements as a whole form into a pile and ignite to exactly the sort of trash fire that would have made this story fly off of airport shelves in book form among people that want to watch a knife get twisted, interspersed with some illicit boning. This is the sort of thing that could constitute a potboiler, back when we were less empathetic towards trauma. Yeah, let's see these crazies tear each other apart. Cage match! It's also a plot that takes real heavy shit and plays with it like wooden building blocks. You're really gonna start this thing with the Cinemax humping off with a dead kid game? You're gonna continue this thing with the Cinemax humping by escalating to dead dog DEFCON level game. Yes, actually. Because fuck you. This is reality as filtered by the asshole prism of tender loving care. This is the real world, motherfucker. At least we say it is. Everything dies. Everyone fucks each other. Jerry, 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 Jerry. The tornado. Double German. Ah. If you ever want to watch a piece of media spill hot coffee all over itself, you watch how tender loving care deals with its themes. Hell, look at how its characters communicate with one another. Good morning. Sorry I slept so late. Yes, well, we have to get on a schedule so it's best we start right away. Okay. It's like a fucking TCP IP handshake. There's also the fact that the performance of this parental trauma hits with all the subtlety of a sledgehammer. By the way, pay attention to this sledgehammer. Time to play the game. It's not exactly the best thing, when one out of the three dominant characters is a mass of exposed nerves, nor the most enjoyable thing to watch. This is not mentioning Michael's sneering or Catherine's vamping, set across the background of an empty child's bedroom and a doll serving as a surrogate Jody. Wow! The fact that Allison is basically infantilized constantly casts a really creepy shadow over the whole affair, and not in any way that feels good or compelling in terms of horror or thriller content. It's good, isn't it? I found that sledgehammer red paint in the basement. Time to play the game!